we are going to have discussion on node path loop and branch of a network and we will first begin with node when two or more elements are connected together then the common point is called as the node and depending on the number of elements connected together there are two types of nodes the first one is known as simple node when two elements are connected together then the common point is called as the simple node and the second one is called as the principal node here when more than two elements are connected together then the common point is called as the principal node now we will move on to one example to understand how to find out if the node is a simple node or a principal node here in this example we are having total four elements one two three four four elements are there out of which there is one voltage source and the remaining three are resistors and here you can see that resistor r1 is connected to the voltage source providing the voltage v and here we have two elements connected together therefore this common point is known as the simple node this is the simple node and when you look at this particular node you will find one two and three three elements are connected together therefore we have the condition satisfied that more than two elements are connected together and hence this node is the principal node similarly this node here is also the principal node because here also three elements are connected together first one is the voltage source second one is the resistance r2 and the third one is the resistance r3 they are connected together at this common point so i hope you now understand what is a node what is simple node and what is principal node now we will move on to the next definition that is the definition of path and once we understand what is a path it is very easy to understand loop and branch so let us understand what is a path suppose we start at one node we start at this node and move through a simple element r1 is a simple element and we are moving through the simple element to the node at the other end this is the node at the other end of r1 so we started from this node we went through a simple element r1 and then we moved to the node at the other end we then continue from this node through a different element let's say r3 and through this element we move to the node at the other end this particular node now depending on the network we are having we can repeat this process that is we can move through an element and then stop at the node at the other end and while we repeat this process we have to be careful that none of the node should be included more than once then the set of elements and the nodes we have passed through is known as a path for example we started from this node then this simple node along with resistance r1 then this principal node along with resistance r3 and then this principal node is forming a path for us and the set of these nodes and the elements we are having is known as a path similarly we can have another path for example we are starting from this simple node then we moved through r1 we stopped at this particular principal node and then again we moved through resistance r2 and then we stopped at this principal node so this is another path so i hope you now understand what is a path in a network and now we will move on to the definition of a loop the starting node and the ending node of a path is same this means loop is also a path but in this path the starting node and the ending node of the path is same for example we start from this simple node then we move through r1 to this principal node then we move through r2 to this principal node then we move 
through this voltage source and we move back to the simple node from where we started so you can see that we have a path which is a loop let's see one more example let's say we are starting from this principal node and then we are moving through resistance r3 to this principal node and then from here we are moving through r2 to this principal node so here we are having another loop so i hope you now understand what is a loop let's move on to the definition of branch it is a single path that is one element with node at each end so whenever you have a single element and we move from the node at one end of the element to the node at the other end of the element then the path is known as the branch let's find out how many branches we are having in this network we will start from this node we are having then we will move through r1 then we will stop at this principal node so we are having one element along with the two nodes at both the ends of the element so this path is giving us one branch let's call it b1 then we have another branch starting from this node moving through r3 and then stopping at this node this is branch number two similarly this is branch number three and then we have one more branch starting from this node moving through the voltage source to this node this is the fourth branch now there is one important point if several elements in a network carry the same current then they can also be referred as a branch for example in this path current will be same same current let's say i1 will flow in this path therefore resistance r1 and voltage source providing the voltage v will have the same current through them and therefore we can consider this path as a branch however two different elements are there in this path but still we can consider them forming a single branch why because they have the same current flowing through them and if we consider this rule then we will have one two and three branches we will not count this as a separate branch now before i end this lecture there is a small point i want to mention we know current in this branch will remain same and we have assumed the current to be i1 so i1 is the current entering the simple node and i1 is the current leaving the simple node so there is no current division at the simple node there is no current division at the simple node but if you look at the principal node i1 is the current entering and it will divide to two currents i2 and i3 so current division takes place at the principal node so there will be current division taking place at the principal node so this is all for node path loop and branch of a network if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one